Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope you're all having a great day. Gonna open some cards today. Kind of excited for this one. Call me crazy, but I went and I bought another one of these mystery boxes. I've never had any luck with these yet, but it's one of those things where I always add them on. But when I order things from Pristine Auction, once in a while I'll pick up boxes from the auction and with the shipping to Canada, which is always outrageous, at least with Pristine Auction and some of the other auction houses, you really pay up for that first box, but they do have an add-on where, you know, it's like a dollar fifty additional shipping for other boxes. So usually I end up bidding on a bunch of mystery boxes or some other things I don't necessarily want, but when I factor in the lower cost of shipping, then it kind of makes sense. Um, and you never know, I might get lucky this time. I have no idea what I'm chasing here in this mystery box. I can't even remember. I know I paid right around the $50 range. And I mean like the shipping, if I would have just bought it itself, it would have been like 30 bucks or something ridiculous. But since it was just an add-on, it only cost an extra couple bucks. I don't even know if, yeah, I think there's, yeah, there'd be packs and stuff. We got these mystery packs. There's a graded card in here. What else we got? Something else in there. Let's pull them all out here. I have no idea what I got. This one's definitely a graded card, so that's probably... This one's got something in it. I don't know if these are packs in here. Like, they feel... Well, they might be individual cards and packs. I have no idea. I think this is the hit that I'm going after, which I don't even know what it is. So we're all going to be surprised. This is all new to all of us, I guess. Okay. There we go. 2019 Top Series 1 Baseball. And we got a Donruss, 88 Donruss Cello. Okay. That'll be fun. We'll do that. Let's open. Let's see what else we got in. I'll leave this one for last because I know for sure that that's a slab. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, same thing. 2019 Series 1 and then 1990 Fleer. Okay. A little bit of new and old. That's all right. Don't mind that. Well, this one didn't rip very well. Cut my finger off. Go viral for the wrong reasons. Hey, we got some hockey. I haven't seen any hockey in any of these before. So 9192 find the hall. So that's low series. That's all right. And 91 football premier edition. So that one there, I think you'd have the Joe Montana chase, I believe as well. So that's all right. The desert storm cards. And we got Donruss Baseball. What year is this one? 89 Donruss. Okay, so I mean... Just got a variety of random packs here. I'm good with it so far. 89 Tops. Okay. And 2002 Opeachy Hockey and Tops. One exclusive 150 years of professional baseball career. I'm going to patch card inside. Okay, well, that's interesting. Okay, save that. We will save. We'll open the junk wax first. Save some of the newer packs here, and then we'll do that one last, I guess. All right, I'm just fumbling around here. Might as well just start opening and see what we got. Jose Canseco on back. I do appreciate Don Russ without the without the gum. Andre Dawson, MVP, John Franco, Danny Jackson. These are in nice shape actually. The cards are in good shape. Bud Black. Craig Biggio. Nice. That's his rookie, I believe. Carlos Quintana, rated rookie. 
Greg Harris, Jack Morris, and the Jose Canseco 4040 Club. Off centered on the back. That's all right. I'm happy with that. We'll sleeve up the Biggio. That's the mystery box hit so far. It's actually quite, uh, it's a little off left and right. But it's in sharp corners in that one. Okay. Deal with some gum here. Yeah. No, that is not coming off. Sorry, Ted Power. You have been gummed. Okay. 89 Tops, Walt Weiss, Tracy Jones, Ryan Harper, Ellis Burks, Dave Rigetti, Bill Wilkinson, Eric Plunk. We got Brewers Leaders. Tom Bolton, Future Star, Mike Harkey, 1990 Fleer. We have little four stickers, the mini stickers. Mike Harkey, Mike Heath, Derek May. What is this? Major League Prospects. Juan Gonzalez. Mike Fitzgerald. Dave Rigetti. Eric Anthony. Lance Blankenship. All right, let's get these Desert Storm cards. I mean, these things, like, I don't really uh, know if any of them are really worth anything. Never really seen them sold or anything. They always throw them in these boxes, though, so they must have a whole bunch of them that they try to get rid of. All right, let's do some hockey. Canada Cup, Nicholas Anderson. What's that? There we go. Rob Blake. Brent Sutter. Paul Coffey. E. Carbono. And we're going upside down now. Kimby Daniels. We got Darren Poopa. Wayne Presley. Do some 91 NFL Upper Deck Football. Eric Metcalf, Team MVP, Season Leaders, Nick Lowry. Richmond Webb, Steve Jordan. Curtis Duncan. Ryan Blades, Jeff George. Oh yeah, here Ari ah. Ariel Threats, Joe Montana, and Jerry Rice. That's a nice one. And ooh, nice Game Breakers, Marcus Allen hologram. That is really cool. I had never seen that one before. Haven't opened too much of this football, but that's a nice hologram. It's actually in, I oh, don't know, it was on the bottom, so it has some dimples there. Pressure lines as these cases are, or as these boxes are stored for a long time, the dimples on the backs of the packs kind of can show up on some of the cards. Okay, 1988. Don Russ, Cello, there we go, Got some puzzle pieces in the middle, so 88 Don Russ, that'd be Roberto Alomar rookie card I guess, Mark Clear, 
These ones have a little bit of condition on the bottom there. Bill Buckner, Bo Diaz. Of course, always looking for Bo Jackson cards for my Bo Jackson PC. That would be a win in my books. Mike Scott, Steve Howe. Come on, give me something. Jeff Robinson, Tom Glavin. Nice. Is that his rookie card? I believe so. Candy Maldonado. Harold Baines. Okay, let's do this other OPG Hockey. 2002, nine cards. Look for Patrick Waugh commemorative reprints. Alrighty. I really haven't done much or opened much cards in the early 2000s, so... These ones are new to me. A little bit sticky. What is this? Hard to read these with the glare I have right now and they're sticking. Prospects. Shane Endicott. Patrick Lulene. And up. Prospects. Not saying that name. Jeremy Ronick. Prospects. Passy Nurman. Then we got Norm Millie. A little bit sticky. That's unfortunate. Let's open this. Tops. Roberto Clemente, you have received a 150th anniversary commemorative patch card from 2019 Topps Baseball Series 1. Roberto Clemente. Nice. I've seen a few of these around. Don't know if they're worth anything or not. Don't know how much they're worth, I guess. It's not numbered or anything. 2019 top series one right Ronald Acuna Jr. get the gold cup If I miss anything here, any type of, I don't know, parallels or variations, I don't open a lot of new product, barely any, so make sure you let me know, please, if I miss something. This is kind of cool. Team Uniform Evolution, Ty Cobb, Detroit Tigers, then Miguel Cabrera on the back. That's kind of cool. It's a neat card. Tops now, Aaron Judge. AL West. So we got Otani there. AL West studs. Okay. Jordan Zimmerman. We got here Austin Hedges. Hunter Strickland. Yeah, I'm not sure on those. I might have missed something. Let me know in the comments below. As I said, I have been kind of missed pretty much everything from 2000 to this year, 2020. So I wouldn't know a rare variation if it was staring me in the face. Jake Bowers, Dwayne Underwood Jr., Danny Jansen, Nick Birdie, Boston Boys. St. Louis Cardinals, Kyle Hendricks, Derek Jeter, what's this? Grapefruit League Greats, Jeter. 
Nice. Ronald Acuna Jr., August 13, One Man Wrecking Crew. guess we are down to the final pack which is the graded card I want to see here so it's upside down okay well it's an older one Roger Clemens 85 tops rookie card it's definitely off centered on the back so I'm going to go on the limb and say this is not a PSA 10. Um, hopefully it's at least an 8 though. Let us see. Near Mint Mint PSA 8. Off centered on the front too. 85 tops. Roger Clemens. Alright. I'm okay with that. So I mean. You know this is probably not. Yeah. I mean. This is not going to pay for the box. But you factor in some of the other stuff I pulled out of here. And you factor in the fun factor, if you want. I am, I think that was probably the best luck I've had with these, uh, with these mystery boxes. And the card is in my wheelhouse. I like 80s and 90s cards, so I think I lucked out. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. All right, let me know in the comments below what you think of the mystery box. Judging if it was like 50 bucks or so, do you think it was worth it or not? Let me know what your thoughts are. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.